In Afghanistan and Iraq, most U.S. casualties are caused by IEDs, improvised explosive devices. In Seattle, thousands of miles from the combat zones, scientists are in the fight to defeat IEDs and save lives. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle. Scientist Bill Asher believes lasers can detect the presence of hidden explosives. I wanted to be to it up. In effect, see invisible threats. The particular optical technique we use is called something called vibrational sum frequency spectroscopy, where you put down two uh, laser beams onto a surface and you measure a a laser uh, optical measure photons that are stimulated by those two, la two laser beams that come back off the surface. And by looking at the change of those photons, the number of photons that are generated as a function of wavelength of one of the laser beams, you can get a, you can get a spectrum of what's on the surface. And from that, you can identify different classes of, of, of compounds. The idea being that a convoy or a patrol going down the road at 60 miles an hour can shine these laser beams out in front of them and scan surfaces and see if they can find explosives contamination. You can imagine a, a hovering vehicle that moves out in front of a convoy, for example, and, and does various measurements. And APL physicist Eric Thorsos coordinates five counter-IED projects now underway at the Applied Physics Lab all conducted with support from the Office of Naval Research. We're developing sensors that, if, if put in place, could detect explosives that were in the air. The threat of hidden explosives smuggled on board airplanes is directly addressed by APL's Antal Chin and his team. The work here centers on extremely high-frequency electromagnetic waves and on ultra-thin wires and films, reacting to the presence of traces of explosive chemicals extremely small traces. One part, mo one molecule in a trillion molecules. The results of this basic research could be years away from deployment on a battlefield. Armed conflict always generates debate. But working on ways to detect IEDs at a distance and speed before they can cause harm is the only course for APL's Bill Asher. Really the bottom line is we're trying to save kids' lives and, and no one can object to that. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.